Uh, I just thought of some. Um, a lot of my subscribers um, they need to get their muffler fixed. <laughs> Oh God, they need to get that muffler fixed bad. Oh God. <laughs> but I just thought of something. Um, a lot of my subscribers, they say things when I watch their videos. I can't get over it. I, I, I'm done watching their videos, but I keep, they, they do a good job of like instilling themselves and the stuff that they say in my head. And, and now I'm thinking about the stuff that they say. And when I was doing the last video just a little bit ago, I thought about some of the stuff that they say. And if I talk about it, I really think about it. So the best thing is not to talk about it at all. But they keep saying to me, I just realized something. They keep saying to me, you know, they just keep throwing that word around called conversations. And I just realized how pathetic that is because we have conversations with people that we love. We have conversations with people that we work with. And nobody wants to get into a conversation that's going to blow up in their face. Nobody wants to get into a conversation that's going to cause them to be at war with another person. Nobody wants that. Okay. And um, the other thing is they try to talk like, oh, well, if you have conversations with people, it'll change the way that you think about those people and so on and so forth. No, it won't. No, it won't. You know what I'm saying? If somebody is doing something that I find wrong, having a conversation with the with them doesn't make it right. See what I'm saying? It doesn't make it right. Um, it just doesn't. You know, we it could be anything. It could be about money, it could be about sexuality, it could be about marriage and children or whatever. I've already caught them in error. Okay, just like, you know, when, 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 uh, what's that boy's name with the hands, um, Mr. Scissorhands, uh, part, partner boy, what is his name, um, Winston, Carlton Winston, <laughs> Carlton. Okay, Carl. When Carl, for some reason, decided to throw his his Brady Bunch and his little twisted thing, non-binary, uh, uh, transgender, uh, 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 little 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 gangbang or whatever that is in his videos no well not in his videos when he was talking to me he when he's doing a video on me he decided let me know okay carlton 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 let me do it like he does me mr mr winston uh, Mr. Carl, uh, uh, I don't think he understands. Okay, Carl, Carl, why do I give a rat's ass about you when you tell me that? while I'm preaching the gospel. 
Carl. Carl, hear me good. Why would I care about having some conversation with you? For example, when out of the clear blue, you just say, and Mr. Cruz doesn't understand that I have a, okay. You just destroyed the conversation. You just destroyed the conversation. Who cares? But now you got me caring because now I don't want to talk about having a conversation with you. I want to talk about how stupid and pathetic that is. See how you ruined that? See that? See, we could have had a conversation until you said that. Okay. And now, I don't want to have a conversation. I want to talk about how dumb you are. I want to talk about how stupid and pathetic you are. But this is the thing. I'm trying to preach the gospel here. I'm trying to talk about, you know, the New Jerusalem. I'm trying to talk about um, gathering people, you know, candidates for the kingdom. And you want to talk about the very thing that really gets on my last nerve. What do you expect me to say in the next video when you tell me some nonsense like that? Now, maybe to you and your subscribers, okay, maybe y'all think that's all okay, but did you not just go through how many videos on my channel where you know I totally loaf that lifestyle? And here you want to tell me, you want to tell me the worst is fear possible, like, oh my God, Winston, Winston, oh. Carlton Winston, oh God. No, you didn't. And I shouldn't care, but I do care because I am a minister. I am your life applications officer. I have to care. Okay. But I care in a way that's going to make you make fun of me. I care in a way that's going to make you mock me because you and your little shrine of subscribers who worship the same false god, you think that's okay and you think it's funny. I don't. That's like somebody being held hostage in an in a old abandoned warehouse somewhere and they're calling on the phone and we're trying to negotiate with their with the you know the guy that's holding you hostage we're trying to negotiate with him and you're in the background mocking and laughing talking about we don't want to be free we don't want to be free we don't want to be free let's stay here f you we just we'll just stay here And all these people, you know, you got the FBI there and the SWAT team and everybody were trying to find your location and go in there and save you. And you're in the background. I can hear you on the in the back of the phone acting like a fool. Talking about you want to stay there. You're okay there. Why don't we just leave them? Somebody says to me, no, 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 man, no. We can't leave them there. We got to rest with them. You heard this fool on the back in the background on the phone, yelling and ranting and raving and acting a fool. Why don't we just leave them? They don't want to leave you. God don't want to leave you. Let them stay. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't let them stay. Carl, Carl, Carl. But um, if you are saying to me or 
trying to talk to me about conversations and getting to know things in the world. The reason why I say and talk about things the way I do is because I've had these conversations. You know from going all the way back to when I started these videos, and y'all love to throw it up in my face. Say, oh, well, you did this in church camp, and you did this, and you were talking about this, and you had a friend that did this, and blah, 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 blah. My friend, those are called conversations. I've talked about everything from masculinity, okay, to LGBTQ. And you just call everything gay. Oh, my God. Winston. But see, that's not a conversation. If you're calling everything gay, that's not a conversation. That is that is you in the shadows, not knowing what's going on, having your own say so about it. I need to watch. Hold on. Um, I gotta keep track of my time here because we're time's right. Well, no, that's not the time. That's your time. This is my time. Um, yeah, I gotta get ready and iron. Well, I got my clothes iron. I gotta take my shower. And got some dishes to do and stuff before I get out of here. But um, I just realized getting to it. I just realized that my subscribers have not, have not had these conversations. Ain't no way. You lied. You have not had these conversations. Because if you had these conversations with LGBTQ people, I, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. If you had had these conversations with other races, even, some places I have to give you credit as far as, like, when you talk about, you know, nationality outside of Pittsburgh, for example, or outside of Pennsylvania. Okay? Like, up here in the north, you know, between, you know, New York and Ohio, you know, Pennsylvania, Washington, D.C., um, you know, Maryland, and different areas up here were very much almost the same as far as, you know, attitude and culture of, you know, foreigners, you know, nationalities, immigrants, and so forth like that. But after you go further down, you know, you get down to Chicago and keep going further south and west, okay, then things start to really drastically change, okay. Um, but, so, so yeah, if you, if, it may be different from where you live and where you're at than it is where I live and where I'm at, but I can tell that you never, you don't know where I'm at. Because I do travel a lot. One, 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 that one little trick. I'm not even gonna say her name. She knows who I'm talking about. That one little trick. I call her a trick. Dressed up like a dude, but that's a trick. Okay. Um. She, 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 she tried to do a late, some kind of latest video on me. In that, and the video that I was doing, I have to admit, this 
what I said in the video I should have left out because it didn't really have much to do with the video. My mind just went there for a minute. I used the illustration, and instead of her getting the point of the illustration, she she went all into my sex life. Okay, with a little trick self. Went all into my sex life and went all into, uh, you know, um, making a whole smorgasbord about how I go out and I meet women and, and all like that. And uh, how do you know? I was tempted to turn my phone on and do a series of videos of my life just to appease my subscribers. And then I guess it was the Holy Spirit said, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get that thought out of your head. You don't owe them any explanation. Who are they? You're right. Who the heck are they? I don't owe them a damn thing. But this, this trick, another trick, she went on and on and on. That that bird sounds like a freaking gorilla, man. Um, growling and jumping. Um, we got them all up here. Um, it's a bird making that goofy noise. <laughs> Made me lose my train of thought. Oh, God, I hear that all day long until about, like, 5 o'clock p.m. But anyway, um, she went on and on and on and on, making herself a little strip, a little, a little strip, script about my life. And, and only... And see, you think you're making fun of me, but I know, I know that first of all, only certain genders would do that, and only certain genders in a certain situation would do that. See, you're talking, and, and I realize that my subscribers... Lord, forgive me if I gave them that idea, but they really think I don't know. And I do know. And I take it back because I did have these conversations with plenty of people. Starting from the time I was a child up until this point right now, I'm sitting on this porch. I've had these conversations. And you're wrong. You're wrong because you're one of the conversations that I've had. You, all you tricks, and all you hot shots, all you stalkers, are the conversations that I've had where I said, okay, conversation over, I'm going home. Conversation over, I'm going home. Are we ready to go? Can we go now? Okay, let's go. Enough. I've had conversations with people like this trick. I've had conversations with people like Winston. Carl, Carl, Carl. Coo, 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 coo. <laughs> oh, Lord. When we have conversations with people, that doesn't make us change our views. It adds to our views. Because if they're doing something in the middle of the street and everybody knows that they did it, they can see that they did it, okay? Then there's no reason to believe that Oh, well, having a personal conversation with them. Okay, 
I understand why you did it, but you did, but you did it. I understand why you're like that, but you're like that. That's just like if I go to a prison and I sit down with a prisoner and he, you know, he's in jail for rape, he's in jail for aggravated assault, you know what I mean? He shot some people, you know, da 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 Okay, I'm having a conversation with him and I'm getting to know him. Does that mean that he didn't kill those people? Does that mean that he's not a criminal? Does that mean that he um, didn't rape that woman? No. He's still the low-life douchebag that he was when he went into prison. He's still an a-hole. And sitting down having a conversation with him, understanding how he feels and says, okay, having a conversation with him as to why he did it, that doesn't change the fact that he did it and it was wrong. So what's, so what's the conclusion here? Like, are my subscribers a bunch of people? Well, they're not my subscribers anymore because I got rid of them. But they still come to my channel. They still, they're still able to view my channel. But um, are they a bunch of people that just go along with everything that goes on in society? They not once. Okay, you know, and, and don't get me wrong, Carl said some things where he agreed with me on some on some of my videos and stuff like that. I've seen him agree with me. We we agree about a lot of things about politics. But see, this is the problem, Winston. This is the problem with you. You need to let your voice be heard. If you're a Democrat that agrees about something that somebody that you totally disagree with, like myself. You you agree on something. We agree on something that that we as people we disagree with each other's lifestyle. Or we disagree with each other's religion or whatever. Okay, that's fine. But you need to let your voice be heard on that thing that you agree with because most people like you don't agree or they disagree rather. So so if you're going to agree, you know, with a Republican or with a Christian about something, you need to let your voice be heard. This is how you help the atheist community. This is how you help people like yourself. This is how you help. You don't just sit back, well, yeah, I'm screw I agree with that. Well, how come nobody else knew that you agree with that? Did you, before you went on my channel and tried to make my channel your number one thing to do on your channel. You can't wait for Saturday to get here so you can do some D-Boy Cruise. Okay? Are you talking about these issues with your subscribers? Are you doing a whole video taking how long do you do take to do my videos? Anywhere from, from 90 minutes to two hours? That is two hours. Well, a little bit over two hours. Um... Are you, are you sitting down with your audience and having these conversations, conversations about, about things that you might disagree with about Joe Biden or things that you might disagree with about, you know, parenting or whatever? Get out of here. Huh? But you're wrong when you say I need to have conversations because I've had more conversations than all of y'all. And I've been around, I haven't been around the world, but I've been to other states. Do I need to go around the world? Here's a guy here who's a Christian that I watch on YouTube. I love his channel, Asian Dude. He goes to a battlefield to whenever he does his videos and he talks about, you know, um, you know, things that happened in the Bible when he goes to quote scripture and stuff like that. He goes to this battlefield where I don't know what Asian country he's in. I think it's the Philippines. 
but don't quote me. But he goes there. There's a battlefield in his city that he lives in. And it's bloody. It's a battlefield that they worship this battle. Where there is one Asian group fighting another Asian group. And they're cutting their heads off with the sword. And there's, there's women and children, you know, being chopped up on the ground and all this stuff. And he walks through that battlefield when he does his videos to get a point across. And I was waiting for him to say one thing. That he does not agree with what happened in that battlefield. And that he, um, he also agreed that they need to get rid of that battlefield, stop worshiping that stuff. You know, the thing is really rated in C-16 or whatever. I mean, it's really rated mature. Walking through that battlefield and seeing these rip replications of people being, you know, hitting with these crazy weapons and, and cutting to and all this stuff, women and children and everything. And he'll talk about what the battlefield represents, but I was waiting for him to say that one thing. They should get rid of that battlefield. It's not good for the city and he finally out of one video he took two seconds to say it and that made me that changed the way I felt about every video he did before that because he finally said it but it's just like when you read the scriptures and you you want to hate on Christians and all like that because you don't interpret it the way they interpret it. I'm waiting on you to say that one thing. I'm waiting for you to say that one thing, but I know it's not going to happen because it's not in you. I'm waiting for you to say that one thing thing you know what I'm waiting for you to say but that's besides the point that's what I'm waiting for you to say but that's besides the point that's not the point thank you very much but you're not going to say that you'll never say that you'll say that now because I said say it but jokingly you'll say it but you're not going to say that you're not going to say that right here you're not going to say that but that's besides the point You want to talk about who God killed and all this kind of stuff. How come God didn't kill your punk behind? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, help me. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. But that's besides the point, though. <laughs> oh, my stomach's hurting. Oh. That's besides the point. I'm waiting for you to say it. You're not going to say it. Okay?
um, you lied. If you did go around the world, if you did go anywhere else, Mr. Monty, besides New Orleans, okay, what did you learn that that goes against what I'm saying? Absolutely zero. Okay. <clears throat> and if you live in New Orleans, that don't count. And I really see a group of people that have time on their hands for now, for now. That have time on their hands, all this time on their hands, and they don't know what to do with it. And I sure hope all you guys have jobs. You know, you never talk about that. You never talk about what you do for a living. I've met, I've met, I've met military personnel and I've asked them about Mr. What is his name? Silvas. They said they ain't never heard no crap like that. Fresh out of Iraq, they ain't heard no crap like that. Okay, um, I've asked, you know, and me trying to be an entrepreneur myself and get my business off the, off the floor, you know what I'm saying? Um, and all the, the, the training that goes with it and stuff like that. Um, they ain't never heard none crap like that. Well, of you other guys, you know, but. You know, if you guys have great jobs, I'm closing. If you guys have great jobs, okay, I apologize. If you have good jobs that are all about you helping people and you setting people free and, and helping people, you know, with their finances or helping people, you know, if you're doing some scrubbing and bubbing and, and and moving and, and packing it all in and all like that. You burning some sweat and all like that. I apologize. But there's a lot of people out there that.